What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Mm. So, yes, I met the J. A little goodie popped up from the Smack app. Yes, yes, this would be uh, Big T versus Rum Nitty. Now, this battle, this battle was pretty solid, y'all. This was a pretty solid battle, at least to me. You feel me? I was entertained from both parties. Uh, this battle was a lot closer than a lot of what a lot of people was telling me initially. Um watching it for myself i see that big t came in there fighting he came in there fight he actually got creative y'all he got creative to me uh getting into that first round uh nitty goes first and nitty you could tell he was he was he was, he was solid that first round but it seemed like it was super duper short and then on top of it being super short um you can tell that he was just trying to feel his way he was trying to feel his way but when big t hit that first this was ah <laughs> Big ha! Ah, Big T was talking. He was talking. With that being said, I got Big T uh, winning that first round. I think he won that first round clearly, y'all. He won that first round clear. That was super clear to me. Um, I just think that he had a lot more than Rum Nitty. Um, getting into that second round, I got uh well, getting into that second round, Big T. I mean, Rum Nitty steps up and Rum Nitty takes off. He takes off. I continuously say this, and I'm going to continue to say this until otherwise. Since 2013, Rum Nitty, to me, has said some incredible things that I've never heard before. You feel me? Like, in his creativity, as far as the way that he be punching, is so unorthodox. There is nobody that can do that but him. He is the only person on this planet that can be Rum Nitty and can sound like Rum Nitty. That's crazy, y'all. People could try to imitate it, but nah. Nah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. With that being said, he had a fire second round. He had a fire second round. I think his second round low key was the best round. Uh, was his best round out, uh, out of this in this whole uh, battle or whatnot. But getting into Big T second, Big T man. Ooh, oh my gosh. Ah. Big T came in swinging, y'all. Big T came in swinging, and um, granted. He had an uphill to go because Rum Nitty's second round was so fire. I had to edge that first, uh, uh, that second round to, to Rum. I think Rum got him in that second. I got it 1-1 going into the third, and it's crazy. People were telling me, oh, man, Rum Nitty, man, uh, he just he just blew by Big T. Nah, he didn't just blow by Big T because that second round was close to me. That, that second round was close to me, sir. And, yeah, I am a trained listener, straight up. I ain't going to give you bars. Nah, I ain't giving you bars. Not at this moment. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all going to have to watch this battle and see for yourselves. But uh, with that being said, I got a 1-1 going into the third. Uh, Rum Nitty steps out in the third. He he takes he, he picks up where he was in the second round. And uh, he kind of showed a sense of urgency. Granted, the, the his rounds always seem super short. He has some fire content that had me like, ah, oh! and it's crazy how many bars that he say that go over people's heads that are still there. Ah, I guess I'll be sitting down and I'm watching it like I was watching it today and just go crazy and everybody be like, huh, what is he talking about? Man, yo, that's what you call a creative puncher. But getting into uh, Big T's third, Big T, I think that this third round was, uh, his third round was solid, but um, I just feel like he, uh, his breath, he, his breath control was a little bit off in that third. And then on top of that, uh, he wasn't as creative, as creative as he was with his punching and with his schemes as he was in the first and second round. With that being said, I got Rum Nitty, uh, taking that third, um, this battle, man, it comes down. I think this battle comes down to the second round. It's whoever you feel uh, was the most creative and that hit, and whoever had the best bars, uh, depending on you as the individual uh, watching the battle. To me, I think Rum, I got Rum taking that second and that third. Uh, Big T got a hell of a fight. If somebody said Big T 2 1, uh, winning that first and second, I can't, I can't, I can't knock them. Anybody saying Big T 30 or Rum Nitty 30, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop taking away from the battle. Stop that. We don't play that around here. Get your bars up. Get your mother freaking bars up. But anyways. Ah! Um, yeah, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think about this battle. It was super duper solid to me. Like I said, I got Rum taking it. Um, I can't wait to see the other battles that drop. I'm, uh, I'm waiting on this uh, Charlie Clips and, and JC. I heard, that, I heard this battle was fire. I heard this battle was fire. That's what some birdies are telling me. But like I said, until I actually listen and see it myself, um, I'm going to remain neutral on it. 
but this was a solid battle. Uh, Big T, I got to see. I got to see Big T again. Big T, I need you to continue to be creative. Be creative. Don't just do the gun. Chalaka, boom, bop, bop, beep, beep, beep. Sound like a muffler. That's cool, too. But we want to hear bars, though, sir. We want to hear bars. And rum, I just need you. I just need your rounds to be a tad bit longer. Ugh, I know that y'all probably, did. I don't know what type of bread y'all got for this, but just be a little bit longer. But all in all, this battle was pretty dope. It was pretty dope and entertaining. But anyways, I'm on break. I got to get back to the J. This your boy, BA For Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbling upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, and I want to shout out to Oops, man. Shout out to Oops. I don't even watch the Academy Awards. I ain't watched the Academy Awards in damn near a decade, but my ass was watching yesterday. He probably didn't win to all those people at the Academy Awards, but hey, you won in battle rap, sir. You definitely won in battle rap. We appreciate you for taking battle rap to somewhere that it's never been. And guess what? It's going to be unlimited because I know it's going to be more bigger things coming and battle rap should be reaching out to everybody pretty soon in other different type of ways. But oops, for now, salute you, sir. But anyways, holla at your boy. I got to get up out of here. Salute.